we commend this uh, Sunday school teaching class, let us sing this song. We will not waste most of time. We are grateful unto you. We are grateful unto him. We are grateful, O oh Lord. We are grateful, O oh Lord. Alleluia. For all you have done for us. We are grateful. Grateful Lord, grateful oh Lord, Alleluia. Grateful oh Lord, Alleluia. Oh, he has done for us. the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. God has done so marvelous things for us. He has been doing it and we continue to do it. Our home is just to obey him. That's it. Obey him. Just follow instruction. As we continue to do that, he will never fail us. Let us pray. Let us bow our head. Oh Lord, dear Father, King of glory. Lord of lords, King of kings. We are so grateful unto you this morning, O oh Lord, for the wonderful things you have been doing for us, O oh Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness, O oh Lord. Thank you for your saving grace over each and every one of us, O oh Lord. Lord, we thank you, O oh Lord, for you are always there for us, O oh Lord. You care for us, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, we appreciate you. Lord God, may your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for the last week's services we had here, Lord. Thank you for how you shower your blessing upon every one of us, O Lord. Thank you, O Lord, for the great deliverances, O Lord. Thank you, O Lord, for the prosperity, O Lord, of our soul, O Lord. Physical and uh, uh, spiritual, Lord. Lord, we appreciate you, O Lord. Lord God, may your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, dear Father, O Lord, we thank you, O Lord, for each time we call upon your holy name, O Lord. And each time we gather together like this, O oh Lord, you are always there for us, O oh Lord, Father. You have never failed us, O oh Lord. You have never disappointed us, O oh Lord, Father. Once you promise, O oh Lord, Father, you are going to fulfill that promise. And you have been fulfilling it in our life, O oh Lord. Your prophet told us, O oh Lord, for God, not, for God not to fulfill his promise, that he can backdrop the heaven so that his word will come to pass, O oh Lord. Lord, we believe you, Lord, Father, and you have been doing it for us, O oh Lord. We have been blessing us, O oh Lord, physically and spiritually, Lord. You have been keeping us in the hold of your hand, O oh Lord. You have been giving us victory over all our enemies, victory over sicknesses, victory over death, victory over all forms of evil, Lord. Lord, it has been you and you alone, Lord, Father. Lord God, may your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, dear Father, we are here again this morning to come and hear from you, Lord, Father, to come and hear the word of life, O oh Lord so that we can become better Christian, O oh Lord. Lord, we are gathered together in your name because your word said where two or three are gathered together in your name, you will be in their midst, O oh Lord. Father, we will believe, O oh Lord, we have strong faith in you, O oh Lord, that you are in our midst this morning, O oh Lord, and we are feeling your presence already, O oh Lord. Blessed be to your holy name in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we gather together this morning, O oh Lord, may you bless our soul, Lord. Father, may you open our heart, O oh Lord, to hear your word, O oh Lord, to receive your word, O oh Lord. Open our eyes, O oh Lord, to understand you better, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, grant it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, our desire this morning, O oh Lord, is to have you in our midst, to have you in our soul, to have the mind of Christ in us, O oh Lord. Grant it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, dear Father, if there's any way we have sinned unto you, Lord, if there's any way we have wronged you, Lord, if there's any way, O oh Lord, we have come short of your glory, O Lord. This morning, we are praying for the mercy, O Lord. Father, we are asking for your mercy, O Lord. We humbly bow down, O Lord, in thy presence, O Lord, in thy feet, O Lord. Father, 
We are asking for forgiveness, O Lord Father. Lord, grant it unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. All what we need, O Lord, and what we are pleading for this morning is your mercy, O Lord, and not your judgment, O Lord Father. Lord God, King of glory, O Lord Father, may you come down, O Lord Father, and listen, O Lord, to our heart cry this morning, O Lord, by forgiving us all our sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, dear Father, O Lord, we are about to commend this Sunday school class, O Lord. We don't know anything, O Lord. I don't know anything, O Lord, but I'm here, O Lord, putting my trust in you, O Lord, and I believe you never fail me, O Lord. I want you to come down and speak through me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Lord, dear Father, O Lord, I commit my brother and sister unto you, O Lord. Lord, may you open their heart, in their heart, O Lord, to receive your word, O Lord. Lord, grant it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. All our brethren that are still coming down here, Lord, may you bring them down here safely, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, dear Father, we commit this environment unto you, Lord. We commit this auditorium unto you, Lord, Father. Lord, may you sanctify every, every corner of this auditorium right away with your presence of blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Every unclean spirit, O Lord, demonic power, witches and wizards, O Lord, we bring them down. We bring them under control right away now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, any garden of enemy concerning our garden today, O Lord, this morning, we come against them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, wherever they might be, gather together, O Lord, against us, O Lord, Father. Lord, dear Father, Lord, may you scatter them, O Lord, Father. May you send confusion in their midst, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we commit all the instruments, we commit the instrumentalists, we commit everyone, O Lord, that we do one thing or the other, O Lord, Father, to glorify your name this morning, O Lord. Lord, may you take a hold of them in the name of Jesus Christ. May you sanctify them, O Lord, Father. We appreciate you, Lord. We thank you, Father. As we continue, may you continue with us, O Lord. Lord, we remember our precious pastor, Lord. Lord, may you continue, O Lord, Father, to strengthen him, O Lord. May you continue, O Lord, Father, to envelop him, O Lord, with your Holy Spirit, O Lord, Father. May you continue to stand the God for him, O Lord. Blessed be to your holy name. All our brethren that see coming down, bring them down here safely, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, dear Father, we remember all our sister touches, O Lord. Right away now, Lord, King of glory, they will be gathering together again to worship you, Lord. May you bless their gathering, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, Father. We appreciate you, Lord. As we continue, Lord, may you continue with us, O Lord. Blessed be to your holy name. We thank you because I've done it, O Lord. As we continue, Lord, continue with us, O Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise our living Jesus. Without wasting much of our time, let's go straight to the word of God. I have limited time, and it's good to walk towards the time. We don't need to take most of our time, really, so that for, we can have enough time for, for the preaching of the word of the, Lord, of the living God. That's the most important thing. You know, every service is very important. Every service is important, but the preaching of the word, we need it more than any other thing. God will help us. Let's go to the book of uh, Genesis, chapter 5. Genesis, chapter 5, verse 24. You can read from verse 22. You know, at times, where we sing, 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 dance, 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 after that, check many people around. They will just be sleeping, dozing. They, will not, they won't be able to listen to the word of God. No, dancing and singing is very important. It's very good. But at least, we need to walk towards the time. Genesis chapter 5, verse 24. Yes, verse 24. And read from verse 22. Let's read from verse 22. Or 21, rather. To get it better. Are we all there? And Enoch lived 60 and 5 years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 360 years five years and Enoch walked with God and he was not 
for God took him. Amen. Let's go to another place. Let's go to Hebrew. Hebrew chapter 11, verse 5. Hebrew 11, 5. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. May the Lord have blessing to his word. Lord, dear Father, King of glory, we have read your word, O oh Lord. Lord, may you honor your word in our soul this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. May you, O oh Lord, prepare a fertile ground, a looming ground in our heart so that we can receive your word and can bring forth, O oh Lord, Father, the fruit, O oh Lord, of repentance in us. Grant it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. As we continue, may you continue with us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. This morning, we want to consider this uh, topic. Enoch walked with God. Enoch did what? He walked with God. You know, in the Bible, we have many characters that walk with God. And before then, the world, this world walked. We want to check it very well. It's a biblical expression. It's a biblical expression for fellowship and obedience with God. Obedience, fellowship, and obedience with God that results in divine favor. You see, we have many characters in the Word of God, in the Bible, that walk with God. But when I was reading this particular, particular Enoch, he, some, there's something there that moved me. As we are going, you see it. Our prophet said many things about it, about him, rather. You see? Adam walked with God. Adam, he walked with God. Moses walked with God. Noah walked with God. Elijah walked with God. Many of them, they walked with God. They had a great fellowship with God and they obeyed him. Look at Adam. Our prophet told us when God and Adam, when they were having fellowship in the Garden of Eden, Adam had nothing to worry about. He had nothing to worry about. He had nothing to fear about. He didn't have to worry about food, about shelter, about clothes, about sickness, about anything. All what he needed were being provided for him by God. If he needs anything, he can call Lion. Oh, Lion, come. Go and get me so, so, so. Lion will be him. Yes, sir. You go and come back. If you want, you want, if you wanted to cross the water, you don't need to. You just go over it. The water will depart, depart from him. But Brian says something happened at the end of the day when the sin set in. When the fall came in, the problem came in. Look at Moses too. Moses walked with God. But at the, at the end of the day, what happened? When that sin set in, but our God is merciful God. When Moses, when that temper, this spirit of temper, when he came in, when he set in, he was unable to get to that promised land. God showed him that land, but said he will not get to that place. Why? Because of that anger, temper. Even when he died, you remember that the angels, the uh, satans, Satan just came with his angel. 
they wanted to take over the, the body of Moses. Say, look, this body belonged to us because of what he did. But God, our God, is merciful God. God take over and prevail over them. You see. So, but when I was reading this, Enoch, Enoch, he walked with God. Our prophet told us that he walked with God for 500 years, even and more. And no, no, nothing, no single say. And Bible told us that he pleased God in all his way for 500 years, good years and more. So now you're telling me that uh, where we read in the Bible, the Bible said that 300 and something years. Why did the, why did the prophet see his own? No, I've had many, many ministers of God in this message. They say that maybe prophet made a mistake. No. Prophet did not make any mistake. Let me tell you. Prophet, our prophet, is a seal of God. He knew everything. I, if you remember, there was time when our pastor was telling us this uh, color, pink. He said, if prophet tell, told him that this one is white, he will believe it. That is where I stand. If prophet told that this color, this pink, is white, I stand. Yes, I believe it. Look at what happened in the Garden of Eden. When did they give birth to our prophet? Look at it. And he knew what happened there. God took him down there. He knew what happened. He knew that it wasn't apple that they ate. Can you, can you imagine? Where we have scholars, professors, they are still arguing about it. It was argue. It was apple, not apple. But the prophet told us that no, God took him down there. He said that it was not apple, it was adultery that they committed there. Yeah. They find it difficult to believe that. It has been like that from time immemorial. Look at the case of Jesus Christ, too. When he was preaching in the temple, he was telling them, rebuking them, and they came, they said, Okay, Abraham is our father. He said, You know. You claim that Abraham is your father. But if you, Abraham is your truly your father, this all the evil works, atrocity you are doing, you wouldn't have done it. Even if, if, if a prophet told them, uh, Jesus Christ told them that even Abraham saw my day, I was, I was rejoicing. They say, you, look, look at you. You have not up to 50 years. And you said you are claiming that uh, Abraham. He said before Abraham was, I am. You see, so you don't you don't doubt the word of prophet. So sorry for that. I just want to iron this out because it may it might be ringing our soul this morning in my heart. Uh -uh. Bible says three hundred and fifty years, but prophet say we are still going down there. You see, Enoch walked with God for five hundred years, no single mistake. This one moved me when I was reading down day before yesterday morning. I shouted, I screamed. My wife said, "What happened?" I said, "This word of God." I read it to him. I mean to her. That's it. For 500 good years. And he did not disobey God. And it was, and it was recorded that all his day he pleased God. That is why he was able to go to rapture. So this morning, my brethren, we have to check our life. We have to check our motive. We must please God if we want to go to rapture. That's it. Sorry for that. Let's move on. So when God and Adam were in the fellowship in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Adam and Adam was obedient to God. Our brother told us that Adam had nothing to worry about. Everything as on everything was on smooth and running right. He didn't have to worry about his clothes. He didn't have to worry about something to eat. He didn't have to worry about sickness. He didn't have to worry about death, sorrow. He knew nothing about them. Just the freedom like a child. He had a heavenly father who watches over him and fellowship with him daily. Wouldn't it be one wouldn't it be marvelous if we could be back like that again? You see, that's what we did, my brethren. So let's move on. Now let's go to the message preach on. 6504. If you want to get to that one, you can go to the message fellowship. 
paragraph 37, 5505101A. You can get it, and when you get home, you can read it. We have a lot of things to, to talk about. I'll be brief enough so that. Let's go to 650410E. 10, sorry, the Easter seal. See, Enoch walked with God. I was not, for God took him. We just started. How many years have we have we started now to walk in the word of God? You see, sixty five zero four one zero, the Easter Hill, paragraph one seventy one. One seventy one. You know, walk with God. Men and women, it will make you stand to your feet. It will make you to do the thing that God wants you to do. So because of the time, Noble Abraham was talking about uh, quickening power. You can start the from reading from you get to you can read the whole message. The start seal. 650410. Men and women, that quickening power, it will make you stand to your feet. It will make you do things that God wants you to do. I don't care what somebody else says about it. The neighbor say, or, th or that person has lost their mind. Or, or oh, oh, that person has lost their mind. Pray all night. They read the Bible. I don't care what they say. It's, it is what God called you to do. That is right. Oh, they say we can't have this old-fashioned Pentecostal revival. Oh, yes, we can. We can too. You can have it in yourself. And you are the majority in God, no matter what the rest of them think. Notice, after the obedience, listen, listen close. Now, after obeying God to his word, when he fulfilled his mission, that quickly power that he received at Pentecostal at Pentecost, cut him up, cut him away, quickened his body, quickened his body, miles and miles away, he was taken in the spirit and was found over in another country somewhere, quickening power of God. And if we be Pentecostals, the same, that the same power that raised up Jesus from the dead, if it dwells in your mortal body, see, all right, notice, let's take another man with this quickening power. There was a man way long ago by the name of Enoch. When a new thing come along, when something come along and said, well, now we have to go back to the old school, or this, that, or the other, Enoch walked with God. Whatever God say, do. Whatever God said, do. Enoch never missed one word. You see, that is, that is why this one is so peculiar. This uh, Enoch's case, so peculiar to others. Unlike Moses. He said, whatever God said, do. What? He, Enoch never missed one word. He walked with God. Was he? He was a son of God. He was an eagle that had been called to that day. And when he come time, he was so full of that quickening power. Remember, he had walked 500 years or more before God. And not one time had, had he missed his word. Not single one time that he missed, word, he missed the word of God. No. And he walked with God for more than 500 years. And not one time had he missed his word. Not one time did he misbehave himself. He did not misbehave himself in the presence of God. Look at the way we are doing now today, my brother. We want to check up our life. We are expecting the rapture. We must, perf we must be perfect. Some people say it's not possible. Uh, can you walk? Is it possible? Uh, There's no way you can walk. Your head will have to be shaking. No, it's possible. If we determine... We have to determine with help of Holy Ghost. We can do it. Look at what happened to Enoch. 
under the blood, under the blood of a bull, under the blood of animal. He could make it. We too can make it. We have the precious blood of Jesus Christ. He shed it for all that come from Calvary. So with him, we can do it. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. That should be our aim. It should be our objective always. Don't say that we can. It's, not, it's possible. We will have to check our life. Check ourselves this morning. Not one time did he do. Did he do. Okay. Did he, not one time did he mis, misbehave himself. Look at it. Everything that God told him to do, he went and done it. God, when God asked him to do this, he did it. Do it, he did it. In full obedience with the word of God. And see, and you see the you see the divine reward, divine favor. It is a great thing. No matter what anybody else. Okay, sorry. Let me take that one again. Not one time did he. Not one time did he misbehave himself. Not one time did he do but kept the testimony. Everything that God told him to do, he went and done it. No argument about it. He just went and done it. No argument. When the word of God comes to us, we don't need to argue it. Yes. It's word of life. It's life itself. When you argue it, you are playing with your life. We are playing with our life. No argument about it. He just went and done it. No matter what anybody else thought. He went and done it. Why? He was full of that power. And when it come time for the old man to die, God just sent down the ladder and he walked up home. He quickened him. He took, him, he took his motor body up in the rapture. And that is the quickening power. That's the Holy Ghost, my brethren. We need it this morning. We need Holy Ghost. We need that quickly power. We are expecting rapture at any moment from now. If we don't have it, we are going nowhere. God will help us. Let's go her. Let's go further. Enoch walked with God. You see, you remember when uh, our prophet was in that, inside that very thick forest, forest, our prophet did the same thing. He walked with God. After the storm has gone down, God told him, something told him, which is Holy Spirit. He said, can you just throw with me a why? I prophet said, it was, it was a great thing to throw, to walk with God. It's, I prophet said that he walked with God through that forest. That should be, it should be our motive. We should prepare ourselves to walk with him every time, every minute, every second. When very, very lost time. God will help us. Let's go further. Let it, because of time, let's go to the year year 60031 paragraph 30 to 35. 60013 60013 Zero three one three, paragraph thirty. Yeah, hearing. In lock walk with God. Sixty three. Zero three one three. Paragraph thirty. Knock what with God. God will, give, <clears throat> God will help us, give us grace to do that. We need His grace. Paragraph thirty. And then, if that child, that son, did not obey and was not obedient child, it never was no more than the son. That's blessing of a son. Blessing of a son. Adoption. So we can we can read from when we get home because of the time. And then if that child, that son, did not obey and was not obedient child, it never was no more than the son. It rem it remained a son 
but yet he had no he have no inheritance. Now we don't want to stay in that place. The church ought to be a thousand miles up the road, farther than it is tonight. The Pentecostal blessing has been falling on the people here in America for for, for fifty years, and if anything, we're dwelling instead of going on. What are you preaching such as this for, Brother Abraham? I want to see the church of God in deep sincerity. I want to see the whole fast and prayer meeting. I want to see them times when they can't leave church. They just stay all night and pray fast and call out to God answers. Instead of that, it seems like love has dwelling away from us. The love of God, just love. Why a real Christian, a real Christian can hardly wait when the bell rings. He's got the front seat. You know what Brother is talking about? You know, in those days, they place they normally place a bell on top of the cathedral. So when it's time for service, they will just ring the bell. That Brother said that you will hardly listen. You haven't heard that that. Uh, Hey, that bell ringing until you get to the church. I'll come down to the front seat. Why? A real Christian can hardly wait. When the bell rings, he, just, he has got the front seat and there read with the song and there ready with the song with the song book in his hand. But now we say, Oh, my, I don't know. Oh, blessed be that tie that bands our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is like to that above. We were asunder, when we asunder part, it gives us inward pain, but we shall still be joined in heart and hope to meet again. That is the way real Christian is a living experience. It's a living experience. Now when we are together like this, when we have that's so much love in our in our, in our, in our, in our midst that when we are departing, we find it difficult to live ourselves. That's the way Christian is living experience. Pentecost is not a denomination. Pentecost, Pentecost, okay, sorry, Pentecost is not a denomination. Pentecost is an experience that anybody can have if they wish to have it. Yes, it's an experience, and we, we have to wish to have it. It's something that you experience, the Holy Spirit. Now, when this boy, if he comes up that, that way and did not become obedient, did not have the action of his father, did not try to carry his father's business on the way his father did, then that child missed all its inheritance. Another brother had to take it, its place. Now, today, if we try to take the church before, now, Today, if we try to take the church before God under just common church creed or theology, that is not the way Jesus took the church before the Father. God wants the church to be filled with the Holy Spirit. He wants the church to be filled with Holy Ghost. Doing the same works that he did when he was here on earth. That's the kind of church that the teacher, the Holy Spirit, we want to present before God. The church are filled with Holy, Holy Spirit. When we are talking about church, it's not talking about this building. It's talking about you and I. We need to be filled with Holy Spirit. As I told you one time here, the contract that, okay, the contract that in the Old Testament, when it was wrote out and then torn apart, when they come together, it had to, it had to do stay. Each piece of paper had to fit right in. And the whole program had to line up right. God confirmed his covenant with the with people through Isaac to Christ. At, and at Calvary, he tore Messiah apart. He took the body and set it on the on his right side. And set the spirit down here or upon the church. And the church we have to have the same spirit doing the same things that Jesus did or it will never go in the rapture. See, we have to have the same spirit, we have to have the Holy Spirit. 
the same spirit that God, Jesus had, the mind of Christ, will have to be in us before we can go to rapture. This piece of paper here and tear it apart. Now you could not impersonate it if you had to. But I'm talking about piece. Let me try. Let me demo this is a piece of paper. But I say that if you can knock that no way like this. Sorry. See the way I tear it. You hold this one, I hold this. For a contract. When you are coming, you have to come with it. You have to come with this. Then when you bring it, you have to you stay. Probably you cannot impersonate it. You cannot come with this one and put it together. It's not to stay. That is the word, the word of God. Our life, we have to do stay with the word of God. It got to come back the same paper. So them later will come just exactly like they, they were. That's exactly the way the church has to got to be. Jesus was always about the father business, doing that which was right in the sight. Not just about doing this and that. What the church becomes to do, but it is about the father's business. And Jesus has the testimony. I always do what, what which pleases the father. The type Enoch before the translation, Enoch walked with God 500 years and had the testimony that he pleased God throughout the journey. He pleased God, my brethren. We have to check our life, and he was a type of the rapture church. Oh, but we are short, we are short of that. We need to please God. Without pleasing Him, we cannot go to anywhere. God will help us. So, because of the time, let's jump to. Supposed to report. let's go to thirty-seven. So be rounding up. Now you see, Jesus had proven to God that He being the right kind of son, and God took Him up on the top of the mountain, brought witness out there, heavenly witness and earthly witness and they clothed him in immortality when they looked up they say his garment shined like the sun and the supernatural something and the supernatural something taking place, his garment glistering like the sun in its middle of the day as white as they could be, God placed on him that rope of immortality showing that he has received him that is the thing that God will do to his sons here on earth someday that is what God is going to do for us if you if can obey him if you can please him he will call you aside church if you only obey him and stay on the word and believe it who call us one day? We are expecting him. And he will place in the church. And he will place and he will place into the church before the coming of Jesus Christ. He will place into the church all the powers that Christ had in him will be in the church. All the power that Christ has will be in you and I. Doing the same work, continue the work of Lord Jesus Christ on this earth. All that God was, He poured into Jesus. All that Jesus was, He pours into the church. God wanting His work done, He sent it into His Son. The Son wanting the work done, sent it into the church. At that day, you will know that I am the Father, the Father in me, and I in you, and you in me all that day because the same power of God was in Jehovah God rested in Jesus Christ the same power that rested in Jesus Christ rests in the place rests in the placed sons in the body of Christ God will help us my brethren you see we need to buckle up our our bet the word of say that can two work together Except they agree. Amos 3 3. Can two work together? Except they agree. Can place it for us. Amos 3 3. Rounding up. 
He must three, three. Yes. Can two work together except they be agree? No. They cannot. If our if we don't have the same spirit that our Lord Jesus Christ has, if we don't have it in us, we cannot go to anywhere, my brethren. Let's go to Deuteronomy 8 6. Deuteronomy 8 6. Deuteronomy 8 6. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandment of, of the Lord thy God to walk in this way and to fear him. You see? Before we can walk in this way, we have to keep his commandments. We have to be in total obedience to his word. We have to be in total obedience to God's word. We must obey him always, all the time. See what Enoch did for how many years? God will help us. Then let's go to Micah 6 8. Micah 6 8. Make us his eight. He has sealed thee, O man, what is good, and what doth the law require of thee, but to, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. We must we have to humble ourselves in the presence of God always. That's the only way we can make it at the end of the day. Now look at the I'm rounding up now. Look at Enoch. I just so like that man, Enoch. I love the pro I love the he was a prophet. And and they have churches, have members. It was not only one there. And Enoch was in the was in unbroken fellowship and relation with God for five hundred years. He did not allow his job to break his fellowship and relationship with God. He did not allow his work. No many people now ask him why we did not see the fellowship. <laughs> My brother, it's my work. It's my work. But Enoch was not like that. He did not allow his work to do that. Enoch did not allow his family to break his relationship and fellowship with God. He did not allow his family. Not allow his dad or mother or anything. No. He had a focus. He did not allow his church, his church members to break his fellowship and relations with God. He did not allow that. He had, he had church members. He had family. But not allow any of them to hinder him. That's why he was able to make it to the end. He went to rapture. We did not allow anything to hinder us, my brethren. He did not allow anything to break his fellowship and relations with God. He did not allow unbelief to break the relationship and, um, and the fellowship with God. My brother and sister, we should not allow any to, to hinder our fellowship and relationship with God. We should do away with malice, with unbelief, backbiting, with sin. We should do away with them. Godship. We do away with it. We are going somewhere, my brethren. This world is not our home. This world is not my home. You know we sing that song almost every time. We are going somewhere. God will give us grace. God will help us to live with him, to walk in him with all our hearts. Let us be on our feet. Let us be on our feet. My time is up. Let, be on our feet. let us be on our feet. and Let us pray. Oh, close our hearts and let us pray. God will help us. Let us commit ourselves unto God. We have heard it. How Enoch did not allow anything to break his fellowship and relationship with God. Let us ask God this morning that God will give us grace to live by this word. That will not allow anything to break our relationship and fellowship with him. Let us be in prayer. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Oh Lord, dear Father, King of Lord, we thank you this morning. Your word has gone forth, O oh Lord, and it shall never return for the Lord. We have seen many characters in the Bible, O oh Lord, 
on that of Enoch was so peculiar, O Lord Father. We saw the way and the manner he walked with you, O Lord. 500 years, no single mistake was traced to him, O Lord. No disobedience was traced to him, O Lord. Lord, no malice, nothing like that, O Lord. No backbiting, Lord. No unbelief was traced to him, O Lord. But he believed your word, O Lord. He walked with you and he pleased you, O Lord. Father, that is our heart desire this morning, Lord. We want to please you, Lord. We want to walk with you, Lord. With all our heart, O Lord. Father, Lord, may you give us grace, O Lord. And help us this morning, O Lord, to do so in the name of Jesus Christ. We don't want to have any unbroken relationship and fellowship with you anymore, Lord. We need, O Lord, a closer walk with you, Lord. That is our heart desire this morning. Grant it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, O Lord, for this Christian journey, O Lord, Father. We are expecting the rapture, O Lord, Father. Without pleasing you, Lord, we cannot go to rapture, O Lord. Lord, may you help us, O Lord, to please you always, all the time, O Lord, Father. Every second, every minute, O Lord. Grant it unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we appreciate you, Lord. Lord, as we continue, Lord, may you continue with us, O Lord. We commit the song service unto you, Lord. May you come down mightily and take preeminence, O Lord, Father. Lord, we want to sing, O Lord, in the truth and the spirit. We want to worship you, O Lord, Father, with all our heart, O Lord. Lord, may you give us grace, O Lord, to do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Commit our song leader unto you, Lord. May you fill him with your Holy Spirit, O Lord, Father. May you help him, O Lord, Father, to sing the songs of Zion, O Lord. To edify you this morning, O Lord. Grant it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Commit the preaching of the word, O Lord. When the time for it, O Lord. Lord, all what we want to see, we want to see you, Lord. Lord, we are not here to see ourselves, to look at ourselves, O Lord. We are not here to look at our pastor or anybody, O Lord. But we are here to look unto you as author and finisher of faith, O Lord. May you help us through, Lord Father. Grant it, Lord. As we continue, Lord, may you continue with us, O Lord. In Jesus' wonderful day we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us clap unto God. Are we blessed this morning again? So my brethren, it is great thing to walk with God. God will give all grace to do that. So let us open our only belief. Let's sing. Song leader will come over. In number 40. Won't it be wonderful day? Number 40. In number 40. Yes, of the storyline, wanted. 